And welcome back to the latest anime and manga news for the week ending January 18th, 2014. Starting with the news that we will be getting more Black Butler anime, an announcement uh, on the February issue of Monthly G Fantasy, tells us that there will be a new anime series adapting Kuroshitsuji, as it's known over in Japan. There's also a live-action film adaptation coming out um, today, actually, so that might have something to do with it. Um, so, we'll be seeing more Black Butler. No news on exactly what it will announce, but that is certainly coming. Meanwhile, good news for Hayao Miyazaki and Studio Ghibli. The Wind Rises, Hayao Miyazaki's latest film, has been nominated for an Oscar in the animated film category. Uh, the Spirited Away, one of his previous films, is the only animated film ever to win an Oscar. Um, the Wind Rises competes along with uh, Frozen... Ernest and Celine, Despicable Me 2, and The Croods. I really, really hope The Wind Rises wins. Meanwhile, Hayao Miyazaki released a statement about this, and surprisingly, he doesn't sound very crotchety. Uh, he does say, It is a huge honor for my retirement work to be nominated for the Oscars Best Animated Feature Film category. To be so valued overseas is a great honor for the entire staff involved in this work. From the bottom of my heart, I thank everyone in the Academy who nominated the movie and everyone who guided it successfully. It would bring me great joy if many people in America get to see the film. Retirement work. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. Meanwhile, also in anime movie news, uh, Anaplex of America has announced it will screen the Anohimita film uh, in select theaters starting today, actually. Uh, the title will be Anohana the Movie, The Flower We Saw That Day. So you can see it around. Um, it'll be uh, shown in Canada as well in February. Uh, those who attend will receive some exclusive replicas of the letters that Memo writes to her friends in the film, um, as well as some will receive real flower seeds. That's a pretty neat little idea. Uh, film opened August 31st in Japan. And this is basically a retelling of the anime series uh, from Menma's point of view with a new epilogue. Okay, uh, moving on. Funimation has announced they have licensed Season 6 of One Piece. So yes, more One Piece coming to America. Uh, it will be released in four parts over the course of 2014. Um, the first volume um, ships uh, May 13th and will contain episodes 337 through 348. Yes, there's that much One Piece out there. Uh, there will also be a One Piece Collection 9 shipped on April 15th, um, which will retail for only 35 bucks. So you get it much cheaper online. And that'll include episodes 206 through 229. Uh, meanwhile, also in Funimation news, they've changed around their video streaming service. So um, it'll be much like Crunchyroll. Free users will see everything on a one-week delay. Uh, paid subscribers will get things instantly. And uh, let's see here. Um, the uh, There are two exceptions to that. One Piece and Toriko will simulcast to free users as well, besides just um, uh, uh, instead of the two-week delay. So that's good. Uh, moving on to some manga news. There's going to be a new manga of uh, the Robot Detective Tokusatsu TV um, series, um, as, uh, um, which came out in the 70s, excuse me. Uh, and it's going to be done by the folks who did Lion Barrels of Iron. So this new Robot Detective TV series uh, coming out will be a brand new story, but following uh, presumably the same kind of characters and setup as the original story. So that's kind of interesting from, from those folks. Uh, and finally, the uh, manga Caterpillar will be getting a new artist, since its uh, previous artist actually passed away, sadly. Um, Caterpillar is by Shinya Murata, who also did uh, the Arachnid manga, and this is actually a spin-off of that. Um, so a new artist, uh, Tokisada Hayami, will be moving in after the passing of uh, Isuka Hakozaki, the original artist and character designer. So good to hear that those series, uh, that series in particular, will continue on into the future. So th that is the news from this week. Um, let's move over into the backstory, explaining some information about this stuff in my next video. So um, stay tuned for that.